Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way. Today is, uh, wait, I'm supposed to tell you what I do, right? Uh, I'm trying to walk from Beijing to my home in Germany. Uh, it's taking quite a long time. <laughs> We're on the, uh, yeah, you could say second leg of the trip. Started walking on the border of Kazakhstan and China in uh, July 2016 and now we're here in Azerbaijan it's uh, August the 14th 2018 so like walking for two years now and uh, I'm in a little town it's called Masale and we're just leaving this little town it's starting to rain a little bit but hopefully not that long and uh, yeah check this out I got a number on my hand and those of you who've been uh, with me for a long time you know what this number means it means I have to dance in 34.5 kilometers because I do a little celebratory dance every 1000 kilometers and uh, now we're 34.5 kilometers short of 10,000 yeah so that's a big one I think I'm gonna only have that one time in my life <laughs> hopefully or well, yeah I don't know but anyway uh, I don't think we're gonna reach that today but anyway I got the number just to remind me and uh, there's probably gonna be dancing tomorrow oh man and I hope this rain doesn't man rain sucks I mean rain is awesome if you're a plant right or a rain enthusiast which I am when I'm inside or like I don't have to walk for hours in the in the rain man I'm gonna put the rain cover on the caboose ah there's a little car coming you wanna look at that car? yeah you do hello <laughs> alright I made a decision I'm not sure if it was a good decision, but I left the highway because there were too many cars there. And uh, now I'm on a little road through the villages. It's uh, pretty quiet. There is a uh, garage here with, uh, I guess, wreckage. The caboose is there resting and there's these fine people. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. And uh, yeah, the plan is to go further down that road and to go to a new highway that is being built, like an interstate highway, uh, and that is not finished yet. So the question is if there is a ramp that I can access the highway, and people are saying yes, there is. And then the other question is if there is like, I don't know, maybe parts of the highway that are not walkable but we'll see so yeah that's what i'm saying like i don't know if it's a good decision or a bad decision but so far it's really nice here on the country road yeah so far i like the decision well this is awkward <laughs> someone told me to uh to go here to access the the highway which is there but yeah there is there's a fence here <laughs> man I think I'm gonna have to go back around there go up the bridge and then come down from here but how am I gonna do that there's a there's a plank there man this whole situation How am I gonna go? How am I gonna go down here? Huh? Uh, we'll figure something out. One way that I was thinking about was to unload the caboose and push her through here, but then I would have to. To unload everything. And who wants to do that? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. 
you got an idea? Huh? Bosey? Did you got an idea? Well, getting here was horrible. It wasn't that bad. It took like 20 minutes to get through the fence. But being here, man, it's so awesome. Look at me. Well, you can't see me, but like, you know, there I am. What's up? <laughs> and I'm on the, on the highway here. And there is no car in sight. And it's all for me and the little... What are they? Are they sparrows? Yeah, this is awesome. I'm going to stay on this road for, I think, two days. So the only problem is I need to find a place to sleep later. Wow, this would be good here. But then I need to keep on. But this here, like under the trees, that would be awesome. I hope there's more like that there. Yeah. And I got enough water, I think, for, well, for today and tomorrow. After that, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. This is it. This is awesome. Something that you see a lot here. Roadkill. It doesn't matter if it's China, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Iran, here. Just usually on these roads, even the roadkill doesn't last that long. There will be more cars and more cars, and eventually the roadkill is gone, just flat. But on this road, since there's no one, yeah, this little, I don't know, is it a dog? Was it a dog? People are telling me about shackles here. Jackals? I don't know. Yeah, but it's been here a while. And it's gonna stay here a while. Okay, so we made it past the barrier there. 
and I still don't know if the road is good or not but that doesn't matter now it's gonna matter tomorrow but not now because now we're just gonna stay here the caboose and I are gonna sleep here and I have not decided if I should use the tent it is windy and there's jackals so they say and there's snakes that I know so maybe the tent is better but then I'm lazy and you know this here looks pretty nice to sleep on and the rain is not gonna get us under the bridge here I guess so yeah maybe no tent is better but either way we're gonna be under the bridge because I don't know if you know but sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner sometimes I feel like I'm all alone <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, if you like the video, check out the blog. It's thelongestway.com. Uh, and you can click on there, and it's got maps and everything. And you can click on in the, into the main map on the, on the main page and see all the, uh, the blog posts associated with different places. Or what you can do is share the video. Just show it to somebody. I don't care, in your office, in your school. You know, that's all. And... Uh, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm trying to... The caboose is taking me to the place I love. She's taking me all away. Away, hey, yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. One time.